Oh 
Lord Jesus, come. Jesus come come Lord Jesus and reveal yourself come confront every untruth in my heart come confront every lie Every untruth in my heart. Come confront every lie. So I want to walk in your way, walk in your truth, walk in your light, Jesus. Come, 
Apart from you, I have no good thing. Apart from you, I have no good thing. Apart from you, I have no good thing. It's Jesus, you are the vine.
abide in you, oh, by your spirit within me, yeah, by your spirit within me, by your spirit within was never made my flesh was never made to put my trust in so there's no more striving no more striving being disappointed no more striving no more striving and being disappointed
teach me how to let go of all my disappointment, all my frustration, that I may receive fully the joy you have for me, the inheritance you have for me, that my hands and my heart may not be full. other things that get in the way. Teach me to let go. Teach me to let go. Cause God, it seems easier to hold on sometimes. Teach me to let go. Teach me to let go, teach me to let go of what my past has told me, of how things have gone before, cause my past does not dictate my future, my past does not dictate my future. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day filled with your mercy and grace. Teach me to let go. Teach me to let go. open my eyes to see the joy that awaits. Open my eyes to see the joy that awaits. Cause I will taste and see, yes I will taste and see. Your kindness, it has 
lifted me to see the way that you see. Gonna sing out loud. Let my voice be heard. It's a song of victory. And it's
be magnified. Jesus, Jesus, be exalted in my life. Jesus, be magnified. Jesus, Jesus, be glorified. Jesus. 
truth I'd rather follow Jesus there's no one I'd rather abide in and Jesus 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 This name never gets old It never gets old of a thousand generations you are worthy Lord of all unto you the slain and risen King we lift our voice with hands singing worthy Lord of to join the song so long before our lives to raise our voice alone 
You are 
just keep coming after me Just keep coming after me oh. You just keep coming after me Jesus You just keep coming Just keep coming after me, even when my ass is weak. I can barely whisper, when I can barely say, Jesus, in your infinite mercy. coming after me oh, oh,
Jesus, Father, you are an endless ocean. God, you love us. God, you love us. Jesus, you loved us first. Before we ever said, I love you, before we ever said anything about how we feel about you, you showed us your love. Jesus, you showed us how much you loved us. And I pray that tonight that you would take us deeper into that understanding, deeper into that revelation, Lord. That your love is so great for us that nothing else in this world could satisfy us but your love. We were created to know your love. We were created to be satisfied by your love. God, satisfy us with your love. God, let us understand and know the great depths, the great heights, all the greatness of your love, God. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, we will be transitioning into a time of intercession for Israel. In Romans 11, it says, But as regards election, they are beloved for the sake of their forefathers, for the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. And this passage is speaking about God's love for Israel. You know, God's love for Israel never failed. It never failed. His love continues for the nation of Israel. And Jesus desires for Israel to know him and to love him. God has a destiny and a purpose for the nation of Israel. And tonight, we'll be praying for the blessing, security, healing, and salvation of the nation of Israel. After I lift up a prayer for Israel, follow with your own intercession. Father, we pray for those who have recently been affected by the wildfires in Israel. We ask that, Father, that you would restore to those, God, who have experienced great loss, that, God, you'd restore their homes, their cars, their property, and that, God, most of all, you would restore their hearts. God, heal those who have been injured physically. And Holy Spirit, comfort those who have experienced great loss at this time. God, if these fires are an act of terrorism, let there be justice and let those who started the fires be found and be be prosecuted. Uh, I speak over the nation of Israel peace, and I speak peace over Jerusalem. Jesus, you are the peace of Israel. You are the peace that Israel needs. And through your death, you brought down the dividing wall of hostility between Jew and Gentile. Through the power of your blood, disarm Israel's enemies and cause their enemies to drop their weapons and to give up. God, secure Israel's borders by your power. Father, let your people receive the full inheritance of the land that you promised them. I disallow all resistance opposing your will for your people to inherit the land. Lord, disarm the enemies of your people and cause your promises for them to prevail. Let's pray.
Father, uh, purify the government in Israel and its leaders of lust, greed, pride, and any other strongholds. God, cause Israel's leaders to desire to establish righteousness and justice within its borders. Cause its leaders to cry out to you for wisdom, for discernment, and for direction. Cause them to let your word be their guide. God, cause the prime minister and the chairman, um, God, not to be moved by fear or by discouragement. God, cause them to be courageous and cause them to lean on you, Lord, for strength. And Father, amidst the threats and acts of terrorism, cause these men to trust in you and not in their own understanding. Cause them, God, to trust in you and to trust in your ways. God, cause them to acknowledge you in all their decisions and all their dealings with other nations. Let's pray. In Matthew 5, Jesus says, But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And Jesus goes on to say, he says, You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Lord, cause Israel to do this. God, cause your people not to be hardened or consumed with hate, bitterness, or revenge toward their enemies. Jesus, do a supernatural work of healing in the hearts of Israel, of the people of Israel, and empower your people to wholeheartedly forgive their enemies so that they can wholeheartedly pray for them and love them. 
Lord, I ask that the fear of the Lord would strike the hearts of Israel's enemies. I ask that they would understand that Lord, that you are their vindicator, that Lord, that you are on their side, and that, God, that there will be recompense for every act of hate against Israel. Lord, I bind up the schemes, the resources, and the strategies of Israel's enemies. And I declare that Israel is victorious because of the blood of Jesus. Let's pray.
pray for the church in Israel. I ask that you would fill their hearts with your love. Love for you, love for one another, and love for their neighbors. Cause the church to be unified, to be one as you, Jesus, are one with the Father. Cause their love for one another to be deep. Cause them to truly consider and serve one another. I bind up the schemes of the enemy that would seek to divide the church. Cause your church to abide in you and to be pruned of selfishness and purity and any other sin that would hinder them from loving one another. Cause them, God, to be strong when they're persecuted. Cause them, God, to abide in you no matter what. God, cause them to long for your return and let that be what unites them. Lord, cause your people to be in love with you, Lord, and cause that love to bleed over into their evangelism to others, to other Jews. God, cause their evangelism to be anointed, effective, and full of love, and cause there to be a great harvest of souls in Israel. Let's pray. Jesus, you are faithful to your church. And we know that, God, that you are creating a church in Israel that is pure. God, whose love is pure, whose love is undivided and wholehearted for you, Jesus. We ask that, God, you would continue to expand Israel's borders, continue to keep uh, Israel's borders secure and safe. God, we bless the government, and God, we bless the people of Israel. In Jesus' name.
to join the song so long before our lives to raise our voice alone heaven and earth alive we've seen your face your name ever be on our lips. May we never tire of singing praises to you, God. May we never forget who you are and what you've done and where you're taking us. We thank you, Lord, that you've called us to abide in you that it's not by our own strength, it's not by our striving, God, that we get there, that we stay there. But you're teaching us to rest and abide in you by the power of your spirit that you've put within us. Would you teach us day by day, morning by morning, how to abide in you? 
remove all fear and remove all doubt that says we can't do it. And help us, Lord. Teach us, Lord. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray.